Hey everyone, it's Gordon Holder here. Uh, a lot of problems I see with Remington Express shotguns. Uh, people saying that the shells don't extract, they get stuck in there. Everybody runs out to buy a non-mem extractor. Boy, I hope that's in focus. Uh, Mike's shotgun was made in 1967, so it has a metal extractor in it i've then taken it out and cleaned it a few times and i can tell you that it's metal it's very sharp right there this is a shell that got ejected from it the other day and where it got caught if you can see there not right there where this shell got caught where the extractor is you hear that it's, i can even feel that it. it's sharp i don't know if this will focus on that or not right there Ooh, it's sharp so I know my extractor works fine. Uh, Volkortsen makes non-mem extractors and Volkortsen makes fantastic products, folks. I mean, fantastic products. I have bought a lot of their stuff for my Ruger Mark IV and it works to perfection. And those extractors run anywhere from 22 to $25. I see them on uh, Amazon and eBay and a few other places. Um, if you want one, go get one. It'll last you a lifetime. Uh, but MEM extractors are not that bad, okay? MEM is for metal injected molding. That's where they take metal, powdered metal, or sh shredded up metal, powdered metal, I don't know, whatever. Mix it with a bunch of plastics and polymers and stuff like that, form it, and put it into a mold, and inject it into a mold, and then fire it, suck it up, and heat it up, and the heating process burns all the plastics and other stuff out, coming out with a solid metal uh, product metal injected molding it's very inexpensive to make those parts and if you got the right chemicals in there it makes fantastic parts it'll also last a lifetime I hear people say well I bought this uh, Remington 870 Express and it it's not ejecting uh, it's not extracting out the uh, shotgun shells so uh, obviously the mem you know mem product is trash I need some new stuff well whatever okay it, that's maybe 5% of your problem. What your problem is, <clears throat> is on the Express models, we know Remington is not producing all their Express models to the quality of the Wingmasters. Which means the chamber where your shotgun shell goes into has been reamed out, milled out, okay? The barrel's spinning, a piece of metal goes in. Now you've seen a wood lathe and cutting metal like that, okay? It's doing all of that. And it's leaving in there tiny imperfections as the barrel is spinning and that piece of metal is coming across. It leaves tiny imperfections in there and you can actually put your finger in there and run it back and forth and you can feel. There's a thousand little rings like this inside of that chamber and Remington didn't polish them out. That's your problem, okay? I'm gonna show you how to polish those out and if you can see mine, if I've got the camera aimed right, all these little grooves on mine here are from the factory and when mine got extracted out it's still got these grooves in it it's very slick it came right out uh, when you fire a shotgun uh, there's an explosion inside of this shell inside of the chamber and this plastic will swell up and it will fit any imperfections in your chamber like a glove so if you have thousands of little round rings like this that you can actually fill with your fingernail when this thing expands up, you've got a thousand little rings holding this shell. And sometimes it's not, it's hard enough to where the extractor, which the extractor is spring loaded, okay, will just simply pop off of it because there's too much holding it in there. So we want to get these rings out and polish up this chamber so it is really, really smooth inside here, like mine is. All right. Most of these products you're going to have laying around the house. Uh, I'd almost bet you that most of y'all have some oil, machine oil, any oil, engine oil, 30 weight oil. You've probably got oil somewhere around your house of some sort. If you have a shotgun, you probably have a cleaning rod and a brass bristle brush, which I've already wrapped with four alt steel wool. You have this laying around the house. Uh, the only thing you don't have is the 4 alt steel wool. It's like Brillo pad, but very, very minuscule. 
very finely woven, okay? If you look on the bag, it says four alt right here. Four alt steel wool. They come in three alt, two alt, one alt, one, two, and three gauge steel wool. You want to get the four alt. <clears throat> you see how it peels out? It peels apart in little thin pieces, okay? Pull you off some about that much. Wrap that around your bristle brush. Now my brush is an 11 gauge because my barrel is 11 gauge. You see, it's your basic brass bristle brush, all right? And I've just taken steel wool and wrapped it around it, a thin layer, all right? Now, some of you may have one of these laying around. If you don't, eh, you're probably not gonna be able to do this, okay? Take your cleaning rod, stick it into your drill, Tighten him up, okay? You're gonna glob oil all over this, lots of oil. You wanna put something on the end of your barrel to keep the oil from falling out on the floor and having somebody come gripe at you and uh, scream at you for making a mess all over the floor. Let's take care of that. This is just a tiny little vise. It's not very tight. Um, and what you're going to do is you're gonna find out your chamber depth by taking your shotgun shell, putting it up against it, and you'll see the chamber runs to about right here. So if you wanna put a piece of tape on it, line this up and see how far it goes down. Mine goes down to about this from here to here. This little piece here being about as far down as I wanna go in here. And you're going to take your drill bit, your, I mean your drill, put it on a medium power, lots of oil on this, and you're gonna push it in the chamber and you're going to spin it in and out. In the chamber only, you don't want to go too far. You don't want to get in the barrel part. You can do that for five solid minutes. Five minutes, folks. Lots of oil. Take a paper towel, because it's going to sling oil everywhere. Take your paper towel and just kind of wrap it yay like that to catch some of this oil. Uh, I like having this part of the barrel down. If it's an 870, this is a real short. Uh, and just do that, in and out, in and out, in and out. Just down into the... To the chamber don't go all the way down the barrel it's not no need for that um, and do that for five minutes folks with lots of oil on it what you will do then is you will polish it you'll take all those ream marks from where the barrel was the chamber was reamed out and it'll be smooth and now your shells are gonna eject out just like this they get extra extractor grabs them so easy okay the uh, Remington polished the old uh, wingmasters uh, so the earlier eight, uh, 1100s and whatnot, they polished that in there. We never had this problem before. The problems arise, started arising mostly uh, when the, wing, when the uh, Express models come out. Uh, because, well, the rim is just not making them like they used to. No, well, no, they're not. They're not making them like they used to. I don't know how much extra money it would cost Remington uh, to polish the chambers of their barrels like they used to. Uh, but you can buy Express shotguns for $250, $300 all day long. I mean, literally, you can find them all over the place. If you go into pawn shops, you find used ones in there for $100, $150. Well, they're going to ask more than that. You'll get it lower. Uh, but these Express models are out there so that you can have inexpensive shotguns to shoot and buy them pretty much anywhere. And how, how long does this take? 10 minutes to set up, 5 minutes of reaming, boom, you're done. 5 minutes of cleanup. How much money did I spend on this? I already had everything else. Oh, $3 for steel wool. All right, five minutes of your time reaming this thing in and out and you have a shotgun barrel and chamber that is polished up like the Wingmasters, uh, you're not gonna have extraction problems. Should you still go out and buy you a Volkortz and uh, solid steel versus MIM? Uh, go for it, they're 25 bucks. Uh, it'll last you a lifetime. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt to go ahead and get a new extractor spring if they don't send one with it. Uh, mine still works just fine. Uh, Folks, that's about it. Um, hope this helps you fix your shotgun, um, especially some of the newer ones that aren't polished up as well as the older ones. Uh, three bucks for some steel wool, because I'm sure you got the rest of the stuff laying around your house. There may be some of you who don't have a drill. This drill right here is 15 years old, still works fine. Um, anything else? I don't think so. All right. Folks, it's always a pleasure to make these videos for you. Uh, I surely thank you for watching. Uh, God bless America. God bless you.
Bitcoin Holy Oil.